everybody. I'm back. I am going to be making a comfort meal for myself, which will be biscuits and biscuit sandwiches. It's lunchtime right now. I'm starving. Um, really excited to eat this, so let's get going. Um, but first, I need to make sure I'm wearing the proper attire. Ta-da! Special effects. So for ingredients, we're going to be using all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, baking powder, table salt, and heavy whipping cream. Stir your dry ingredients together, get it everywhere, and then stir in the cream. I seem like a lot of cream. <laughs> I hope, hope it wasn't too much. Oh. Yeah, no, this this looks good. I'm gonna cut the biscuits out. So you need a biscuit cutter. Take your dough out. Again, making a huge mess, but getting out everything that you can. So, working the dough just ever so gently and then patting out, that's as much as I'm gonna work it. You don't wanna knead it. The more you knead it, the tougher it gets. So now I'm gonna pat it out to about an inch, inch thickness. Um, flour your cutter, go straight down, firm, confident, and do the first pass of your bickies. Go ahead and keep cutting out all that you can from that first layer. The scraps, just mush them back together. Okay, so this, yeah, the best, the best one is going to be this guy because you just kind of mush it together and then that's a biscuit. So I'm going to go grab my pan, put these on, and then do a finishing touch before they go in the oven. On baking sheet, this one's very special. The special biscuit. Will these all fit? Yes, I will make them. The special touch at the end, which will make these extra delicious, is putting on a brush of melted butter. Because we had to get butter in the recipe somehow. So give each one a loving enrobement something Nigella would say. Butter, butter is on. The oven is set to 450. And in they go for um, 15 minutes. While they're in the oven, I'm going to get working on the eggs. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but my favorite thing to do with the biscuits is to make a biscuit sandwich with um, some eggs, which I like to add some scallions to, and some cheese on top, and bacon or sausage or none um, if you don't want to have meat. So I'm going to um, scramble the eggs today. So I'm scrambling four eggs, adding salt and pepper and a little bit of milk and then bringing out some scallions to chop up. Oh, here's something I did recently. Before shit hit the fan, I went and I got my knife sharpened. And it's amazing. I, I have knife sharpeners that 
um, I've used at home, but let me tell you, nothing compares to the professional sharpening job that the guys at Bernal Cutlery did. Shout out Bernal Cutlery, not sponsored. Oh. Um, those in, straight into the eggs. Now I'll move over to the stove and get my pan ready. So I have my pan, a nonstick pan, warming up over medium low heat. I have a little bit of butter in there. I think it's a good temperature now. You want it to be fairly hot. People cook, I'll just say that people cook their scrambled eggs very differently and people generally know what they like, so just cook scrambled eggs however you want to. So it's in a little bit of a sizzle. And then just cook your scrambled eggs. Your crambled, scrambled, scrambled. Oh yeah, shout out to, I didn't mention, my apron from Tiana, Tiana Manelli, gave it to me for, I don't know if it was a Christmas or a birthday. But it is um, the uniform of the Haunted Mansion Disney cast members. So the, the people in line um, at the Haunted Mansion who help you, this is what it's... Obviously, I should have said that before. Um, so thank you, Tiana. So I turned off the heat. And I'm going to put them all kind of together. That. Oh, there are the biscuits. All right, so I have a cheese blend that I'm just gonna sprinkle on top of the scrambled eggs. I'm gonna cover them and take them off the heat so that the cheese melts. Now, let's check on the bickies. I think those look lovely. Um, you can tell they're done, like if you lift up and it's brown, like a golden brown on the bottom, which it is. Look at the special one. That's the special one. Those look good. And earlier I had fried some bacon, um, turkey bacon, and just put that in the oven three minutes ago to rewarm. So let me get that out. Ready to eat. So you pick your biscuit. I, well Tim, which biscuit do you want? Because you want to pick, okay, so I won't pick that one. Really that's the one you should have picked, but you can have that one later. I like this guy. Um, let's see, get a close up Tim, the pull apart. Yum, so more or less came apart in two. Mmm. Very tender. Very tasty. So there's our eggs. And so you put some egg, a little hot sauce. This is chili pepper water from Hawaii. Um, Kauai Juice Co. It's delicious. My, uh, Hawaii friends and family will know all about that. And I want some bacon, so here's the turkey bacon. Crispy, did you hear it? Crunch, crunch. Um, um. Biscuit sandwich, it took hardly any time five ingredients in the biscuits. You just need cream and yeah, delicious. I'm gonna have a bite of this right now because I'm hungry. Mmm. <laughs> Yum, okay. Now Tim probably wants some, so we're gonna go. I need our biscuit sandwiches. Thank everybody for 
joining me again in the kitchen. This is fun. I don't really know um, what I'm doing, but I love food. I love cooking. I love baking. So, passing the time. Stay healthy, everybody. Um, if you ever need a friend, let me know. And I look forward to hearing from you and um, stay safe.